the supplementary angle theorem, or SAT, is the idea that angles that combine up to make a straight line will have always added to 180 degrees. So we have one angle here that's labeled with a question mark, and we have an obtuse angle pressed up against it. Putting those two together gives you a straight line. See, it's a straight line. So how big is that angle? Well, if these two combine to make 180 degrees, that angle is 180 minus 143. When you do that on your calculator, you get 37 degrees, and your job is to tell the people how you knew to subtract it from 180. The answer is, if they add to 180, they're called supplementary angles, and you're using the supplementary angle theorem. That works just as well for three angles. You can say that this question mark is 180, you take away the 112, and you take away the 54. What's left over is the size of that third unknown angle. 180 minus 112 minus 54 gives me just 14 degrees, but it does look like a small angle. And again, I used SAT for that. Lastly, if either of them or both have X's in it, you can state that the one angle, check, plus the other angle, also check, combine together to give you that supplementary angle magic number of 180. Don't forget to cite it. And now we have an equation we can actually solve. 4X plus 6X gives me 10X total. 4 plus 6 is 10. And then 10 times something is 180. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. You can undo this multiplication by 10 by dividing the other side by 10. Each X apparently is worth 18 degrees. Now that means this angle is 4 18s. What is 4 times 18? 72 degrees. And 6 18s is 108. Nice. 72 and 108 do add to make 180. That's what supplementary angles are all about. If you ever have two angles that combine to make a straight line and you use that fact, the fact that they add to 180, you have to cite SAT in your answers. Them's the breaks. Best of luck.